Hey, what's up you amazing hackers? Hope you're all doing well today. So today I wanted to show a little bit of a practical burp suite application. <clears throat> I want you to show or I want to show you rather my extensions that I really like, my practical extensions that I really like, which are a little bit different than the top uh, popular or the, the best ranking. I want to show you some practical tips and tricks in burp suite that maybe you don't know yet so first of all when you start always go into your proxy settings scroll down into your response modification rules and click these things it'll be helpful you can remove javascript form validation but it might break some websites unhide hidden form fields i think that's well speaks for itself probably highlighting them draws a big red box around them i don't care about any of these front end protections they're just there to protect the user from their own stupidity so what else do we have well for example if we go in proxy we can do match and replace now in match and replace for example you can pretend to be internet explorer ios android these request headers are in here any other user agent you want to be you can do that there's an if modified since, if non match, refer, accept cookie, a set cookie for the response headers, a host being whatever we put in here, replace it with the host that. We can also do the same with CSREF tokens. And if we browse through the website and the CSREF tokens are then accepted in places where they shouldn't be, meaning behind the login and meaningful location, etc. So then that means that if the website works, in other words, that's not good because that's a vulnerability. What else do we have? For example, oh, by the way, you can replace the CS rep token with many different ones. A valid one, but from another session. A valid one, but the same format. A valid one, but the wrong format. A valid and in, an invalid empty token, etc., etc. What else could you do? Auto repeater. Auto repeater is an extension. If we go in here, auto repeater. Let me install that real quick. So, uh, gotta check past my microphone to install it. But auto repeater, how does that work? It's the same principle as authorize, but a little bit different. So in authorize, I can only replace authorization headers. For example. If I want to do any type of replacements in here, I can do base replacements and replacements. I have to look up what they exactly mean again, but your replacement is whenever there is something in here, replace it with something else. So you could, for example, replace the authorization header 15 different times and Julius pay particular attention to this my friend thank you for suggesting the video what you need to do here is make sure that you have one account of each type so for our target you are going to know which one I'm talking about the rest of us won't but for our target what does that mean many different scopes and we add them all here. We can test them all at the same time. If we take other targets, that could be different user types, which could be replaced with this. CSRF tokens. The advantage of doing it like this is that it gets repeated, your request. You can't do this on deletes. A repeat on the delete does not exist. So, you can do the replacements, you can do certain conditions, so only if this, this and that is true, etc, etc. These conditions could be string and request, string and response, there's a lot of them, cookie name, any header, etc, etc. So, we could work with this already. This is a workable setup, CSRF testing, broken access control testing, IDOR testing, inter-tenant, inner-tenant IDOR testing. All of these things could easily go into a tool like this. So that's auto-repeater. What is next, you might be wondering. I would say 
authorized. You guys know that I'm a huge, huge authorized fan. Very easy to set up. Very easy to interpret. I would definitely use that. It's, it's just a given. What else do we have? So, extensions. Pwn Fox. We can work with this in Chromium. Or we can work with the Pwn Fox extension that we have. Or we can work with the extension that we have in Firefox. It doesn't matter. But having Pwn Fox is just a great extension. Because you can see each and every containerized request coming in its own color. But you need the Pwn Fox extension installed. And we had it installed in here, but I don't have it at download anymore. I should probably download that jar. It's not a lot of work. Just download it, install it, work with it. What else do we want to throw on here? Because we are already having a really nice arsenal put together. Copy as fav command. Sometimes you just want to fav. There's many copy as commands. I just like the one for the copy as fav command, the other ones. I don't really use that much. But these really are useful. If you want to do some fuzzing, right click copy as fav, damn done. All right, what else do we have? Intruder file payload generator. Intruder file payload generator. Okay, so in here we can see the intruder file payload generator, also quite a useful one if you want to work with that. Then we have gap, get all parameters and links. This is also a <coughs> quite a useful extension, which is going to collect all the parameter names observed during scanning or manual testing and make them accessible in a dedicated tab. It assists in identifying hidden, undocumented or parameter pollution opportunities across the target. So we have GAP installed as you can see. There's quite a few options. I'm not going to go through all of them, but we can work with parameters, links and words. We can extract them from what we are going to test manually or from our scans. You can see that we have the request parameters response parameters uh, if you want to extract those for me they are sometimes useful uh, your link mode options word mode options and any other options that we have all right so also quite a useful extension if you ask me now next what do we have so there's not a whole lot extra on here something that is always useful is retired.js of course which shows retired or old, old outdated javascript that kind of stuff then we have the turbo intruder turbo intruder let's open that one up both for websocket and the normal one it sends large numbers of http requests and analyzes the results intended to complement the burp intruder by handling a text that require extreme speed or complexity what could you think of that requires extreme speed for example if you're looking at race conditions that's what this could be really useful for as just an example then we have off matrix if you know what the authentication should look like do we still have it here we go off matrix this if you know what the like application should look like in terms of who should have access to what endpoint you can define the usernames the cookies that are uh, like tied to that in username then you can do that for multiple users you can add different roles you can assign a role to a user yes or no then you add these headers you add chains if there are like for example you need to make a request a like create an object before you can delete an object well this can be chains chain sources are the starts and then you can save or load whatever's in here because you want to run this often this happens example if you need to do regression testing this takes a lot to set up 
don't misunderstand me there. This is quite a lot of work, but if you know you'll be retesting an application over and over, this is definitely worth it. So I hope those help. Another few small tips I can give is that the organizer can help. You can send things to the organizer from the repeater. Well, you know my target now, it doesn't matter. Send to the repeater, but we can also send to organizer. And an organizer here, we, if we want to, can add notes to requests. We see the different parameters for those requests above, the method, the host, which tool that came from and we can put that in a different status so if we want to look at a request we can say ah, okay let's this is new this is in progress etc postponed so there's quite a lot of things to discover here but try to work with these as a beginning see what you can get out of them and if you need more just let me know in the comments below but these are workable useful extensions if you ask me and not just the top extensions because you can install 20 but that's kind of a memory like it's a disaster for memory if you need to keep burp open for a longer time thank you so much dear rats thank you julius for the suggestion i really appreciate it and i'll see you in the next one bye amazing hackers